And so we haven't had a lot of those moments. And at this moment, my dad got that same dreamy look in his eye that I remember from the gun control lesson there. And he said, I believe that tomorrow there will be 40,000 empty nursing home beds in New England. And we're like, well, how, why, Dad? He said, because everybody that was born in 1919 that was staying alive for this moment <laughs> is just going to put a big grin on their face and roll their heads back and check out. And then my wife came downstairs. She had been watching upstairs, and she came down, and she said, they won. And, and we said, we're trying to deal with it. <laughs> and she said, I, I know why they won. I go, well, okay, please, do tell us. She said, well, you remember when I went upstairs uh, because it was so intense, I had to go watch by myself? I said, well, we all remember that. That was a good moment for us, frankly. <laughs> and she said, well, when I went up there and it was so intense that I, I, I prayed. I, I said, I was saying Hail Mary. She said, oh, I, I, I've been saying Hail Mary since 1967, and all I got to show for it is alcoholism. <laughs> and she said, no, these were special ones. I go, oh, special? <laughs> she goes, yeah, and this is the truth. My wife, a good Catholic girl, she's up there, and it's so intense, and she's saying, Hail Mary, full of grace, please, Holy Mother, <laughs> do it for the Dominicans. <laughs> They were so poor when they were little. Please, Holy Mother, do it for that. And that's why the results were the world's here. <laughs> <laughs>